you talk about the 14 openings, 13 WCOs, and one inspector that you're unable to fill. Um, what would be the costs associated with, with running a class and then to fund those offers in, in officers in, in perpetuity? Well, it's a million dollars to run a class. Uh, and we can run about 12 officers through. Um, how much is, I'll turn to my colonel and ask him, how much it's, would, would the support be to, once they're placed in their districts, to, to fund 13 positions in districts? The current numbers are about 75,000 per, uh, per pay benefits. Okay. So, <laughs> what would that equate to in a license fee increase, or what, what revenue would you need? Um, a million dollars to run the class sounds like another million to to uh, support these officers or maybe a little bit more um, so we're looking at a couple million dollars what would that equate to with the number of licenses sold in, a, in an annual increase to be able to fund that if that's the way you would look to do it well when you look at license increases you have to look look at two different variables one is that you make income um, and we sell 850,000 licenses so you would think if you increase it a dollar you're going to make $850,000 it doesn't work that way if we increase it even a dollar we're going to lose 8 to 10 percent of the sales so we've got a model and if we increase it a dollar we, we've got a model that even looks at incremental like license increases if you gave us the ability to increase it every year based upon some correlation with CPI or some other index um, we would lose license sales every year, but we gain revenue. Um, so, with the incremental, if we raise it a dollar, we expect the break-even point would be 2.86%. Uh, um, so that we'd have to uh, uh, of the number of licenses we would lose. Um, so, we would make about seven hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars if we would raise it a, a dollar. Um, Representative um, Luska and I were talking earlier uh, just to meet the pension costs. In addition to these costs, we've got the pension costs looming at 9.2 million. Uh, we'd have to raise general license fees by $14 just to, 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 to get stay where we are today to meet the pension obligation in 2016, 2017. So those are the kind of costs that are out ahead of us. In addition to these costs, which is why we're weaning down the budget in preparation that we're going to pay these extra bills. I can't fill those positions knowing that I've got these other obligations that I've got to, I've got to meet. Okay, appreciate your comprehensive answer. Uh, you, you say that uh, it's illustrated the annual report here for which districts are on the sign. I, I paged through a couple times and I couldn't find it. Is there a particular section in the report? Um, it's on the sec, well, it's on the first page. The first page, okay, I'll, I'll uh, go ahead and look for that. Well, it's really this page three, I, I guess it is. There's a map that shows the vacant districts. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, you talked about uh, the trout stamp or permit for the senior folks that, want, that you're looking to um, institute after those that have been grandfathered in or, or, or uh, taken care of. What would that fee be? Or do you have an estimate of what it would be? Well, it would be the standard eight dollars per permit uh, that you have to pay every year, unless you brought the combination permit with the Lake Erie, and then that's what fourteen. Okay. Fine. All right. Um, finally, I ask this every year, um, consider, uh, concerning the number of people who drown or are killed in either boating or fishing accidents, predominantly boating. Um, do we have a total for what that was in, in 2013? We do. Andy, do you have the... I'm going to have to estimate it this time. I think we were up around 22. 21 or 22. It was over the previous year. It was a spike. Okay. This year was something about, I think I might have told you 17 or 15 last year. It was up this year. Okay. And I always, again, follow up with um, the number of those not wearing PFDs 50% or greater? It's great. It's greater. Uh, this year was an exceptionally hard year for small boaters, kayaks, canoes, small john boats, high water, um, cold water, and no DND And finally, um, the number with alcohol or drug use as a result of the fatalities. Uh, I don't have the number off the top of my head, but it, it, there, was, there was a few. It's, it's normally a third to a half. Okay. 
real good. Final question. Um, Snakeheads, invasive species. I know you're talking about these little snails or whatever that we've got coming in now in, in Center County, but uh, what about the snakehead situation? Are we well, seeing any of those? They're good to eat and fun to catch them, so I'm told down in Maryland. But, yeah. uh, they've only showed up in FDR Park in the, in the lower Delaware right now, and I'm not sure our climate's really going to allow them to advance too, too much further north, but time will tell. And like with any invasive species, you never know until they're here, and, and then they take advantage of you know, the conditions that, that, that are presented to them. Um, you know, we, we never realized the zebra mussels would do what they did in Lake Erie. Um, the snakeheads, I, I would have I thought by now that if we were going to see an invasion of the snakeheads, uh, unlike the movie, uh, I don't know if, you, any, if you'll watch the movies, Invasion of the Snakeheads, um, but uh, we would have seen them starting to expand. Um, hopefully, you know, winters like this will keep them south and we won't have to worry about snakeheads. Yeah. Thank you again. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.